Hey, welcome inside Zippity's Garage. In today's episode, we're taking the C5 up to the Corvette Takeover up in Princeton, New Jersey. So stick around. Hey, thanks for pushing that play button, guys. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Jeff Zippity Doodah, and this YouTube channel is dedicated to the fun and games associated with being an automotive enthusiast. So if that sounds something you like, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you like today's video, smash that thumbs up button. It really does help with the YouTube algorithms. So first and foremost, let me say hello, because this is my first video since probably January of 2022, and we are now here at the end of April, getting ready for the seventh Corvette takeover hosted by Yellow Vet 04 and Scott from 512 Garage. So oh, we're expecting any three to 400 Corvettes, so it's gonna be a lot of fun, a lot of good content to come, so stick around for that. And then also the channel, like I said, it's been kind of quiet over the winter, but over the course of the next month, I'm planning on, I'm headed down to Bowling Green, Kentucky next weekend to cover the Michelin Corvette Museum Bash. So we'll have some coverage down from Bowling Green. And in the weekend after that are two local events. My local Corvette club is hosting a Corvette or a car cruise in at Cattell Meadows Greenhouse. Put some information on that down below. That's Friday, May 6th. And then Saturday, May 7th, Sioka Corvettes in Atlantic City is hosting their first, over, first ever cars and coffee. So that's gonna start at 10 a.m. on Saturday, May 7th. Again, more information here down below. So I'll be out covering those events. And then from there, we roll right into the car show season. So I'll be sure to having more fun and game videos coming up. And also not only that, but I'm gonna kind of make a debut video of my C5. I've never really kind of given you guys a full in-depth look at it. And I've had about a three year interior project that is now complete. So I'll be uploading a video here in the coming weeks, letting you guys take a closer look at the interior of my C5 Corvette. So with that said, let's get out on the road and let's get up to Princeton. Hey guys, Zippity's Garage out on location. So thank you to the disc jockey. I asked him to hit dead air for a couple seconds so I can do the intro in front of my car. So we're out here at the Corvette Takeover. I've got Corvette Caravan information set up for 2024 for the 30th anniversary and that's me. And this picture, was not photoshopped guys so atlantic caravan 2024 at icloud.com for more information thank you dj go for it so we're out at the corvette takeover today and it's going to be loud but that's all right we did a couple neat things here we've got probably close to some people are saying 400 some are saying 500 cars but we are out in princeton new jersey at the carnegie center carnegie center 101 carnegie center if you know where the hyatt is in Princeton, it's right in that same complex. But you can see they've got solar panels. Scott, say hello. Yo, 512 Garage. So how are you? good. How are you, sir? Welcome, so, welcome. Scott good. from 512 Garage, and you know we've come a long way from our little uh, humble beginnings in Mass Stories at the uh, sports bar years uh -huh. ago. So yeah, so we uh, we've gone from about 20 cars on that first one to uh, I don't know. There's got to be over 300. Yeah, I was saying close. I've heard four. I've heard five. So it, it's quite impressive yeah and we've got shade with the solar panels i love that you so. know this is good and uh and we've got food although maybe uh maybe next time <laughs> yeah. we do this is called growing pain <laughs> right yeah, yeah. this it's is growing a pain. good problem to have that's you know right. 400 right. corvettes one food truck and but did, hey and did you talk about it, the charity we've yeah got we, charity we got charities you got uh towers to um tunnels to towers, ta tunnels to towers is yep. here supporting so, first responders so yeah so this is more than just a corvette hang there is actually a charity aspect to it that's right east coast supercharging is here as well and I see Dave's Corvette way over there, Yellow Vet 04, and I see he gave me a thumbs up. So he's working his way over here. So as we're still fighting with the disc jockey, and it must be Miller time because he's got a yingling in his hand. Uh, did you bring yingling for everybody in the parking lot? <laughs> How are you, sir? Good. Doing uh, great. How you guys? Good, good. I was telling Scott, we've come. you, know, you guys have come a long way since uh, the humble beginnings. From 25 cars to... Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Add, yeah. add a zero or two to that. Yeah. So, so this year, like I said, go ahead, Scott. You're well, I was gonna say we, we used to know everybody that showed up <laughs> at this event. Now I don't think anybody you know other than you know watching our videos. Right. I'm sure, they even know who we are. So yeah. it's great. I love it when it gets that big. Yep. That means uh, we're making a making an impact. Here. Awesome, awesome. So thanks for including me. Thanks for letting me have some fun with it all. And like you said, I didn't know anything about YouTube until I started talking with you guys. So thank you for that. Not that I'm any big star by any stretch of the imagination, Not just having fun. Either. Yeah. Right. <laughs> exactly. So, so, but what did we do this year? We got a generation display set up again, right? Right over here. C1 through C8. We have two C3s, the chrome bumper and the... And the rubber bumper, rubber bumper. car. Okay. Two C4s, right? The Early and late, ones. yep, okay. And on the other side, we have your C8s. Yep, okay. so on the other side, I'll capture this, guys. We're gonna run down the generations here, but over on the behind the generation display is a display of all the C8 colors except for two. We had two colors that we couldn't confirm, but we'll take a walk down. Thank you, guys. Yep. So, right, go. so here we go, guys, with a C1, beautiful NCRS certified vehicle, white with the silver coves and red interior. This thing's absolutely beautiful. So we're going to go over to the C2. So we, uh, you know, also known as the mid years, uh, red side pipes, 327 under the hood, and let's check out. It is either a 66 or 65. I'm not certain, but still beautiful in its own right. Chrome bumper C3. Here's your rubber bumper or fiberglass bumper with a little bit of a motor work done to this one. So this one will get out of its own way. Your early C, uh, this is your later C4 with the rounded front end. This is the early C4 with the more squared off part. And this is a 96. The way you can tell, 96 is the only year that has this portion done up in body color. Every other C4 of this generation, this is black. So this is a 96 Corvette. C5, uh, spiral gray, I believe. Your C7, this is your carbon flash. So everybody's asking about the new C8 color that's gonna be carbon flash. This is what the carbon flash paint looks like. It's gonna be on the 70th anniversary C8 Corvette. So this was done for the centennial edition of Chevrolet. Then you've got your C7, ceramic matrix with red interior. And look at that thing sticking out of the top. Cool thing about this is this is the Callaway Aero Wagon. So it's the Z06, but you can see it's the shooting brake style done up as the Aero Wagon from Callaway. Absolutely beautiful. You can see how the carbon fiber just carries right through into the rear. And we got the owner here. And we're gonna get uh, take a look inside. So your Corvette station wagon, uh, absolutely beautiful. You can see you actually gain a little bit of height as far yeah, as the storage exactly. container. So it's got the exhaust. Yep, he's got the uh, double D exhaust on the back from Callaway. Competition seats. Beautiful interior with it's the comp. Three LZ. Three LZ. Beautiful. Thanks for bringing it out, man. Yeah, this man. is absolutely my favorite C7 ever made with the Aero wagon. That's beautiful setup. Not for everybody, but I love it. And your C8 done up in Accelerate Yellow, but you can see all the different cars that are lined up through here. There's no way I'm gonna be able to capture all of this. But here is another commemorative edition Z06. Gonna have to come over and take a closer look at this one. So this is what my car used to look like, guys. So Le Mans Blue, <laughs> there's the owner laughing because he knows what mine looks like. This is what my interior used to look like. Pretty stock, he's got a different shift knob on it, but this is the all black interior, and the Z06 had the base seat with the emblem embroidered in the headrest. That was the only car that had that seat in it. And the polished wheels, he added a nice little color spoiler on the back, some chrome uh, lettering on the back, and some tint on it. Very nice commemorative edition, my friend. So with that said, we're gonna take a walk over to look at the C8 display. So what we did here, and this is kind of what I helped with this morning, as far as the parking was concerned, I helped coordinate along with some of my Corvette Club members from the original Garden State Corvette Club. We set up all of the colored C8s, and one of them is departed. <laughs> uh, I think he, I don't blame him, he was getting a little nervous. We had a black C8 parked right here, but obviously the food truck line gets a little bit close. So imagine a black C8 right here. Then we go into the Arctic White. We tried to set them up in a little bit of a color line, so to speak. So here's your silver flare metallic. There's the owners in the back. And then try and get it in the same frame. 
silver flare, and then this is blade silver. So a slightly different tone on the silver. See if I can't get it back up a little bit. Blade silver, silver flare. Turn around, ceramic matrix, gray metallic, hypersonic gray. The one gray we are missing is shadow gray, ironically, which is the color of my C7. Sebring orange metallic, color override with the tension blue interior, pretty wild. So people were asking about the two oranges side by side. So that this is the Amplify orange, which is a flat color, available in 22. So this is either a 20 or a 21 model year for the Sebring, the same Sebring that was done in the C7. But you can see the metallic coming off of this a little bit, whereas on the Amplify, it's got the colored tint coat, so it does not have the same metallic finish to it, more of a flat finish. Similar Accelerate Yellow is a metallic paint, but again, just trying to move down the color spectrum a little bit. Rapid Blue, another one that's done in the flat paint, or the colored tint coat, I should say. And we've got Rapid Blue parked next to Elk Hark Lake Blue, metallic. And we're gonna move into the shades of red. So we have a red mist metallic here. Then we have the Long Beach Red. So a little bit deeper red on the Long Beach compared to Red Mist. Step back out and look. For those that have watched the channel, I'm not gonna call them Spice Red today, all right? So that's an inside joke for some of my guys that have been watching the channel for a while. Torch Red, and then we have the Zeus Bronze Metallic. The other color we could not get here today was the Caffeine color, which is a 2022 color. Very similar to the, ca uh, to the Zeus, but not quite exactly the same. Spin back around this whole line here, all the way back down to the food truck, and most of them on the back side of that is from my local Corvette club. So, and then we've got my friends here from the Lakes Corvette Club. I see some of the cars are sitting over here. Ted from Lakes, come over and say hello. <laughs> How's Lakes Corvettes doing today, Ted? Oh, good. All right, all right, guys. How are you? There's Garden State and, and somebody from Lakes. How are you, sir? Good to see you. All right, and some of the folks are starting to head out already. It is a little bit after lunchtime. But again, another Zeus, not caffeine, but a beautiful Zeus color. And Yanko Supercharge. How are you guys? Hey, man. It'll be on YouTube. It will. It'll be up on YouTube. Zippity's Garage. Carlisle Blue. Not a lot of those that you see here. Ceramic Matrix again on the C8. This is done up carbon fiber wheels which really cool about this type of event you can come out and see something on a car that you didn't know existed and then all of a sudden you absolutely positively have to have it so lots of carbon fiber on this one um red engine cover on there and i'm gonna keep on cruising sal i'll be back so again larry how are you sir so again they're starting to double park along the curb lines here it's insanity as far as the amount of cars that are going here so cars are still rolling in as we speak. And like I said, it's a little bit after lunchtime. It's funny, if you watch the channel, you know in one of my Sioka videos, I called the Red Mist Spice Red for the simple fact I had just recently reviewed a car that had this color top. So this is referred to as the Spice Red Top on the C7, uh, C6 and C7 generations. So lots and lots of cars. A couple colors you don't see too often. This is the C5 Purple. You don't see many of these color colors out in the wild. So pretty cool to see that. I think it was only a 97 and a 98 color option on that car. Carmine Red, again, another unique C5 color. Spin around, capture some of these other cars. These guys are not under the shade. You can see Lamborghini SVJ pulling through. Bel Air snuck in as well. You can see. Here's a 40th anniversary C4 convertible. How are you gentlemen? Guys from up on Staten Island up North Jersey in New York. So they made the trip down to Princeton. Good to see you guys. And there's their cars here. There goes one of the drones. I think that's Dave flying his drone today. How are you guys? Good to see everybody. So again, came down from New York, but I'm just trying to give you some bearings. This is route one and that's northbound going up this direction gonna spin back around and you can see this row that second row over there third row fourth row fifth row sixth row looks like seven rows 
of parking here are all filled with Corvettes. And then as you can see off in the distance over here, up over the hill, is another section of Corvettes. So I can see a Sebring Orange ZR1 way over there. So let's take a walk over and capture that parking lot. Okay, I've made it over to parking lot number two. This was initially set up as spectator parking, but we, you know, absolutely have used this parking with Corvettes. It was filled earlier today. Um, so beautiful, beautiful um, orange ZR1. Big, big high dollar car right now, if you know what the car market's doing. Lots of cool cars, nice Camaro. <laughs> Hello, sir. <laughs> um, Viper sitting in here as well. You can see some of the different cars that are out here today. Big, big thank you to Scott from 512 Garage and Dave Yellowvet04 from YouTube uh, on organizing this event. It's just been <laughs> massive, uh, huge undertaking for what they have to do. And they both live well over an hour from Princeton. And that's kind of how this thing started and how we ended up in this area is they wanted to find some place to do a hangout sort of halfway between each of their homes. So Scott is west of Philadelphia. Dave is up in northeast New Jersey. So kind of ended up in the Princeton. Initially, the first time was Bordentown. And then from there, went to the Hamilton Tap, gr tap uh, Grill. And then over here to the Princeton Carnegie Center. We got lots of Corvette clubs out here. I drive daily. Cool YouTube channel. Check him out. Daily Driven C5. It looks really nice. Again, Central Jersey Corvette clubs out here today. So again, lots of different car clubs that are out today. Check out the C7 with the luggage rack. Take a closer look at that. That's pretty wild and slammed down. Looks like on bags to get that low. That's cool. But you can see these are uh, called seersuckers as far as the, uh, the mounts are concerned. My cousin, um, Pittsburgh Views, put one of those seersuckers with a bike rack on top of his M3 and brought it to a Cars and Coffee. Pretty unique look, having a BMW pull in with a bike on top. Look at this mid-year with an LS2 under the motor. You gotta love that. Beautiful car, man. Thank you. Gorgeous. Oh, and you know, look at this. everybody's doing something different with the generation seats here. We got C7 seats inside of a C2. Absolutely love that. I had C7 seats in my C5, so what the heck, you know? <laughs> so, so cool on what guys are doing. Nice Z06. Remember earlier I talked about the color coding. This is a, a light C4. You can see this is black, so we know that this is not a 96. So this is either a 95 or earlier C4. So a little bit of C4 trivia for you. Gray, I believe this is a shark gray. Black C6 with black and red interior. Nice looking combination, manual transmission. And folks are leaving, but folks are still coming in. Beautiful blue C7. Thanks for coming out, guys. Beautiful. Oh, another C C2 over here. Aztec Gold, I believe, is the name of the color. 327 convertible. The brown interior with an automatic, which you don't see very often. But it's a unique color in that, like I said, I believe it's called Aztec Gold. And we've got another... Try and sp spend some time with some of the older cars here. So we've got a nice lineup of them here. I'll cruise down and show you some of these cars. So we've got a rubber bumper C3, 73. So 73's got the fiberglass up front and the chrome in the back. Factory air conditioning, really nice car. Beautiful silver, another automatic. But again, the 73 is the only year with the chrome on the back and the fiberglass up front. Collector's edition, 96. This is kind of, this is not the LT4. So collector's edition in 96 was available as the silver color and you could get it with the LT4 motor, which was the same motor as the Grand Sport in 1996, but they were only available with a manual transmission. So we've got another mid-year here, another mid-year here with side pipes, both with the beautiful knockoff wheels on them. It says 1964, so I'm gonna assume it's a 64 coupe. Spin around here, another mid-60s car, another 73. 
fiberglass up front, chrome bumpers in the back. You can hear all the exhaust systems that are rumbling in the background here. Another beautiful C3, custom. Here's a pewter C5. So again, hear all these cars rumbling around as we're rolling in and out. Supersonic blue over here on the C6 generation. Pretty unique color. You don't see this too often, and this is the 427 convertible. So this is a 2013 C6. Orange C3. So very, very cool collection of Corvettes. Let's go over up to the front. We're gonna fight the DJ a little bit, but hey, let's go check out some of the sponsors that are out here today. All right, we made it back up to the front of the Carnegie Center office building. And you can see Scott's car here from 512 Garage and Dave's car from Yellow Vetto 4. And then we've got the guys from East Coast Supercharging out here as a sponsor, as well as the charity for today, which is Tunnels to uh, Towers. So we're gonna go over and see here, you know, Here's the East Coast supercharging setup. Look at that, two big turbos. So they brought out the center exit exhaust. You know, beautiful, beautiful little toy from East Coast supercharging. Thank you. So, so here's Chris, and I'm gonna put him on the spot. Hey, Chris, I'm putting you on the spot. How are you, sir? I bet you were. <laughs> I was talking. <laughs> what, what do you want to tell me about the car? As it's, I red. Have yeah, it's red. <laughs> it's red. Right. Sure. Well, I was gonna get you stuff in your face with the tater tots here. Woo! The food's, good. Good the food's real good. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Good. Come on down. So, so tell me, what have you done to the car? So the car is uh, is everything done to it pretty much yep. right now. So we've done uh, we got a twin turbo prototype kit on it. Okay. We have it dialed in at about 8:30 to the wheels right now. That's with a direct port meth injection and the uh, turbos at about 12 pounds of boost. Um, so that was our basically our testing numbers that we came up with. Now we're working on dialing it down, getting some street packages done for right. our customers. Uh, we're looking to keep it at about 650 wheel uh, with no meth injection, so stock tuning, stock fueling. Uh, with our obviously piggyback system that we have in there. Yep. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a fun car. Awesome, awesome. And is it all stuff done in house at Cream Ridge? Or Absolutely. Everything has been done in design and, and manufactured in house at our uh, facility in Cream Ridge. Awesome. Um, everything's been designed off of GM CAD files, so everything's very accurate, very uh, meant to fit the car. Okay. Awesome. Well, thanks for taking the time. So, Thank guys, you if you got any questions on this, sim, check them out at East Coast Supercharging. Like I said, they're in Cream Ridge, New Jersey. If you're familiar with New Jersey, they're not far from Great Adventure. So thanks guys. So, so again, like I said, we're out at the Carnegie Center and I'm going to take a walk around here over to the Tunnel to Towers Foundation and I'm kind of sneaking up behind them so hopefully I don't scare them here. But uh, just want to say hello. How are you folks? So I'm coming up the back here, back way here. So tell, tell me, uh, I'm one of the, you know, kind of the silent partners of the event here helping Scott and Dave, but tell me a little bit more about Tunnels to Towers Foundation. Okay, so Tunnel to Towers uh, Foundation is a foundation brought about by uh, firefighter Stephen Siller. So he was off duty at the time that the attacks uh, happened on 9-11 and he wasn't able to drive to his station, so he right. got out and ran through the tunnel to the towers. Um, he didn't make it and his family created this foundation. Very so, cool. Here's Steve. We do tunnel tower runs, there's walks, there's a stair climb, and actually Boston Properties, my sister worked for Boston Properties, this is their yep. campus, hosted the first race in New Jersey last year in That's August. Right. So this year we are bringing attention to the race. And it's when going. is it? Turn it around. That you got the date on there? August All right, 20th. there we go. All the information, sign up, join us. You can run, you can walk, you can bring a stroller, bring the puppy, just come and cheer everybody on. Can I drive alongside and hand out bottled water in my Corvette? <laughs> just, we actually asked a couple of the guys to come back for the race day. Excellent, so excellent. Will be. Yeah, if there's anything we can event. do to help you, by all means, don't hesitate to ask. Thank Dave and Scott are great guys, and I'm more than happy to get my club involved and you know involved with it as well. So thank you for being out here, guys, today. So, thank you, so Boston yep, more, more information. Yeah, thank you to the host here today with Boston, Boston Properties. Properties, and again, thank you guys for being out here today yeah, as well. You, so, yep. So, and you can see some of the different. Um, you know, this is over 20 years ago at this point, guys, from September 11th, 2001. So uh, it's quite moving. Uh, I live here in southern New Jersey, and I remember exactly where I was when this happened. Uh, this attack. So we're still fighting the disc jockey. We've made it back to the food truck and my car. 
But here is Scott's car. And again, he jokes it's not a ZR1, but a rather a Grand Sport. But he's done a lot of, uh, you know, uh, mods to it, to appearance mods to give it that ZR1 look. And then you've got Yellow Vet 04. His latest edition, he did the gold, the bronze wheels on it. Really looks good. Here's Scott and Dave now. And then he also did a review on the Amazon seats. These seats were purchased from Amazon. Um, really, really inexpensive. And then he also did, through Safety Restore, did some yellow seat belts. So that's what prompted me to get my seat belts colored up. So with that said, guys, I think uh, I may catch a little bit more coverage. But again, this is from the Corvette Takeover. We'll do another one of these in the fall. So as we get closer to the fall time frame, We'll be sure to let you know when this is going to happen. Keep an eye out on my channel, Instagram, YellowVet04. And like I had mentioned at the start of the video, if you're interested in the Corvette Caravan, go to CorvetteCaravan.com. And this is for 2024 to celebrate the 30th anniversary. And there is the email address, Atlantic Caravan 2024 at iCloud.com. Next week, I am headed down to Bowling Green, Kentucky to get more information on the caravan as I will be attending the Corvette, the Michelin Corvette Bash at the Corvette Museum. So for now, guys, thanks for watching.